Part 1. White Clouds. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lonato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me, you sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there is no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. I believe that about sums it up, correct? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lonato's son, Kristoff, was one of them, and so he was handed over to the church for execution. Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply pass judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lonato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They use the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! That smell. It's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Proceed with caution. 
Wait for them to enter your field of view. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato. Stay focused. Serves the goddess. Now you face the knight of Theros! The fog is cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. That's my cue. <laughs> Lord Lenato, please don't die. I'm sorry, but I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. You. I will be the one to kill you. No other. You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. You have been deceived by that witch! I will show you the truth! Stay focused. I never thought I'd see Lonato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Damn it, it was all so pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Forcing innocent citizens to risk their lives? That man was not a noble, but a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? 
Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believed they were fighting for a just cause. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really, I'm just like Lenato. I, too, will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The Goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. Even if they encounter an enemy whom they cannot best, they should be fine, so long as they have you on their side. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. <laughs> 